Neat little gadget they got up here. Yeah. Uh, all right. Testing one, two, three. It works. Um, well, welcome to the first ever press conference in the new building. Uh, this is uh, pretty cool. You know, the seats are the same, uh, but the, but the building is different. And and uh, what a great day it's been, man. It's been an unbelievable day in so many so many ways. Uh, just a lot of emotions today. Uh, all across the board, uh, from just you know, just uh, uh, excitement about the new class, uh, excitement and joy about the new building, uh, excitement about my son, uh, sadness about my friend, um, and uh, just just been quite a day. It really has, uh, but 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 you know, so good to see so many people today, and uh, uh, most importantly to have a great group of young men uh, that signed up to, to come be a part of our program. Uh, as I said this morning, it's, uh, it's always exciting uh, when, when young people choose to come be a part of, of our program. Um, you know, first of all, we got better uh, because we had a great group leave and we got some very talented guys that came in here to, to kind of fill some voids and to continue to move forward. Um, but uh, I just love it when these guys you know, choose to be a part of our program uh, because we lay it out for them. We, we don't uh, sugarcoat anything. We're very open and transparent in how we uh, recruit and, and, and talk about our program. Uh, and so uh, it scares a lot of guys off. I really believe that that's a good thing. And, uh, you know, but it's exciting because there's a lot of really, really talented uh, football players that really want to be a part of the way we do things here. And I, that never gets old for me. Um, this, so, I, so I appreciate that. I appreciate the players, their parents for buying in and believing in, in who we are and uh, how we do things here at Clemson. Uh, this is a small class. It's the smallest class that we've had since 09, uh, my first class. Uh, but uh, another excellent, excellent uh, group of quality uh, young men. Uh, I think it's our seventh top 15 class in a row. Um, we've become very, very consistent in uh, how we recruit and really how we do everything, whether it's uh, academically, how we compete on the field, uh, how we respond to certain things. And um, I don't have any doubt that this will be another excellent group that'll, that'll join the fold. Uh, the thing for me is, as I'm always evaluating our program and our personnel, uh, you know, this is, this is the third year in a row that the winningest senior class in school history has left the building, uh, three years in a row. Uh, so we've had a lot of really talented, it's just kind of, the next group's got that challenge, they just kind of one up them and one up them. And uh, so we've had a lot of really good players that have, that have walked out the door. And, uh, you know, so it's critical that we bring in the, the, the right folks uh, in the front door when you got the other group leaving. Um, and that's what we've done. You know, I, we, we, we've got a very uh, specific way that we recruit uh, and we don't really compromise. Uh, we, we, we don't make a lot of mistakes, we're certainly not perfect, but uh, we work really, really hard in evaluating these guys and uh, because we really want championship people um, and, and players. You know, that's, that's really how it starts for us. And, and we stay disciplined to that and how we go about our business. And I uh, really think we've done that with this group. We had four mid-years and then uh, 10 signees today, uh, 14 guys. And uh, again, small class, but most of them have been committed since the summer. Uh, we, we, we met all of our critical needs. You know, we, we, that's the other thing. We don't, we don't just fly by the seat of our pants and just go recruit guys. We, we, we stick to our plan and uh, we, we, we focus on the needs that we have and then we move on. Um, and uh, we, we're, we're loyal to the guys that are here and we believe in developing the players that are already here on the roster. Uh, so, you know, we, uh, we met our needs, I don't have any doubt, uh, with this group. Plus, we, we always work really hard uh, to bring in a, a few, you know, walk-on guys that we think you know, fit our culture and, and fit the program. Uh, we've got two or three this year, uh, and uh, really only one that I can talk about uh, per the rules, and uh, that's my son, Will. So, you know, really special day for me uh, to, uh, you know, have Will choose to be a part of our program. Um, it 
really special. I had a chance to go over to Daniel and, and celebrate that for him. You know, Will grew up here. He's from the preschool, kindergarten, elementary, middle, and high school. And, uh, you know, he's grown up a Tiger. And this has been his dream. He had you know, three or four or five opportunities to go other places. Um, and to me, as, as his father, I'm really proud of him and, uh, and how he kind of handled himself in high school and how he's handled all the other stuff. But, but as the coach, uh, I'm even more proud because if there's anybody that knows any work that we may have in the program and knows the people inside and out, it's my son. And uh, for him to choose to you know, want to stay here and be a part of that, I think that's the best compliment that I can give uh, the people in this building. Uh, so I'm very thankful, and that's that was that's one of the reasons I want to have a great culture here, because uh, I, I want my old son to want to be a part of that. Uh, so it's exciting to have him come join us, and and um, you know he's a good little wide out, and, and I don't have any doubt he'll he'll uh, you know carve out a niche for himself there, and and, uh, and he has a chance to help us you know right away as a holder. Uh, he's held for five years, and and uh, you know with our first two guys, Seth and, and T's doll moving on, uh, there's a void there. So. Um, just excited to have him join the fold and, and uh, look forward to getting started with him. Very young team this year. That was something that, you know, I guess, you know, a lot of people didn't really pay much attention to because we had some really headline type talent in Deshaun and Mike and some guys like that, but really young team. And that's why we could only sign 14 guys. Uh, and next year's class is probably going to be the same or smaller. So you're talking about two years in a row. I mean, right now we have 10 scholarships for next year. That's what we got. Uh, nine guys, and, and we have one guy that moved on, and we got nine seniors on scholarship. So, you know, you, you, you got, that's what we got. Um, and now you, you, you anticipate there might be a few juniors that, that uh, maybe come out next year, so maybe that number grows a little bit. But I don't, I don't anticipate it being much bigger than where we are this year, and again, maybe, maybe less. But uh, – so the bad news is that is that we, you know, a couple small classes in a row coming up. The good news is we got a lot of champions on this team. We got a lot of guys that have been a part of a lot of winning that are that are right here in this program. We were a freshman sophomore football team this year. Uh, next year we will be a sophomore junior team. Uh, so our next big class where we'll be able to sign a full group will be in 2019. Uh, so just. Uh, uh, you know, weird how it all works out, but really excited about this group. Again, I think this group keeps us moving forward and uh, helps us to continue to have that uh, competitive depth that we like. Uh, the four mid-years in the spring is huge for us. You know, we've had kind of different, we've had one year we had a bunch, and then we've had one, and we've had, you know, four or whatever, different numbers, but we got four really good mid-years uh, that we're excited about, a quarterback, two backers, and an offensive lineman. I think it's great to have them on campus and uh, get, a, get a head start with them, especially with a small class. And then the rest of the guys will be joining us uh, uh, this summer. Uh, the uh, uh, breakdown for, for this year's uh, group, we've got